yesterday was 6th december shaurya divas the day on which bavri was demolished in 1992 while the day is considered shaurya divas by the nationalists for the secular people it is a black day and the act a shameful criminal act indeed it was called a criminal act by the supreme court however finally the supreme court observed that the crime of babri demolition was done by none other than the janta the mass the demos of india and hence no one was punished that was the verdict of supreme court <clears throat> however i will let you know how bengal media how the secular bengal media reacted to all this how morbidly they started screaming from 1992 they continued to scream till 2019 and i will let you know the way the bengal media reacted post supreme court verdict on ram mandir when the verdict came in favor of ram mandir the bengal media the anand bazar patrika started screaming started crying and they they started presenting the facts in a half truth manner in a concocted manner for the people i will let you know how they reacted they said that the verdict the victory is of the brute majority and it is the victory of religious dogma it is the victory of faith by saying this what this bengal media meant was that supreme court had to give the verdict in favor of mandir because supreme court was pressurized either directly or indirectly due to immense mass support in favor of ram mandir they wanted to say by saying that it was a victory of the religious faith and religious dogma they wanted to say that there were not enough facts and figures that there were not enough evidences in favor of uh, ram mandir yet the verdict went in favor of mandir only because of the brute majority support this particular section of the media they never presented the facts and figures in completion i will tell you how jahor sarkar uh, represented it in anandu bazar patrika jahor sarkar wrote an essay in the said um, newspaper he said that supreme court noted there was no mandir beneath babri he just said this much supreme court noted there was no mandir beneath babri yet supreme court ordered in favor of the temple how was that that's exactly how jahor sarkar tried to portray however what jahor sarkar didn't mention that supreme court in the order clearly mentioned that there was a non islamic architecture beneath babri it was not supreme court's cup of tea to judge whether that non islamic architecture was a mandir or a masjid because they were not judging mandir masjid they were just judging a title suit the ownership of that place whether that place ownership goes to ramlala or to the ones who are claiming the masjid that is exactly what supreme court was judging and hence supreme court said there was a non islamic architecture beneath babri thus it was proven that babri was erected over something existing something else now come to ashok ganguly another ex justice ex justice ashok ganguly said there was a masjid which was broken however when the final verdict came it came in favor of the mandir how was that to justice ashok ganguly it is not at all unknown that possession is the essence of right he is not a common man like me or like any one of us he is a law man he knows that possession is the essence of right and supreme court observed that throughout all the centuries the bhakts of ram lalla never left that place not even for one day 
even after the place got vandalized they stayed there they kept on worshiping ram lala there because we believe that ram lala was born in that particular ram court palace in that particular place so they kept on worshiping the deity there they kept on knowing that ram lala is there how could they leave ram lala over that place so they didn't leave the possession of that place and possession is the essence of right and supreme court of also observed that there was a time when both namaz and puja used to go side by side but after certain time the namazis left that place being frustrated they were not offering namaz there however the puja people never left they kept on they sat there like stone so how could not the verdict go in their favor so in even in terms of hard facts which is sustainable and viable in the eyes of law the case was standing in favor of ram mandir and not in favor of babri masjid so the way the media tries to portray that it is the dogma of the right wing hindutvadis and not the facts and figures that's not at all the case the secular media always presents fact only half of it and not in completion to mislead the people so for us 6th december is a shorya divas always and would ever remain